Well, good morning, my lovelies. And welcome to a very bright and sunny and warm and blustery Monday morning. I hope you're all really, really well. So, we've made it into July. Look at the state of her. Um, we are now into the second half of the year. I can't believe how quick time goes. It's very, very scary. Come on, Lou, this way, please. Thank you. So, so today I thought we'd have a look at a few events that be happening through July. Um, not a lot really happens in July, although it's supposed to be classed as the height of summer. But um, we'll see. So anyway, July the 8th, is classed as Celtic tree month and it's the holly tree so the holly tree is highly sacred in Celtic mythology and symbolizes peace and goodwill due to its resistance to lightning I didn't know that it's associated with the Celtic and Norse gods Tarnis and Thor and was planted near homes to protect them from lightning strikes I never knew that. Druids regarded the holly as fertility and eternal life and it was thought to have magical powers. Now I know druids like holly and I know druids do mistletoe as well. They considered that to be holy and sacred. Uh, Christians adopted the holly as a symbol of Christmas with the sharp leaves symbolising the thorn and crown and the berries his blood there you go that's why the holly trees are always quite prominent in Christmas cards and things like that who knew okay July the 13th we have a full moon in Capricorn and it is a book moon this month so the full moon in Capricorn is ruled by a very strict Saturn the full moon is for your professional life and full moons are powerful for manifestation so yeah we all know that when we have a full moon if we want something to happen we all try and go out and do a bit of a bit of moon magic and a bit of manifestation and it's also called a buck moon because apparently the antlers on the male deers start to grow ready for September and October for the rutting season. Apparently July the 28th is a new moon in Leo and it's all about admitting to your fears and criticism and taking to it so you can grow and improve. Well then. There you go. That's our little events for July. So we thought we'd come down this back track because I've not been out for nearly a week. I just, I couldn't get motivated to take her out, which is a shame really, because she does miss her walks. Really should try something. <laughs> But yeah, it's funny old weather today, isn't it? I mean, it's quite overcast. It looks like it wants to rain. The sun keeps trying to come through and we've had this wind for nearly a week. I don't know where this wind has come from. But it's quite blustery some days. And if you look here, mine's the stingers. Can you see we've started to get blackberries forming? They'll be ready by August, September time. They will. Yes, they will, Lou. Yeah, really nice blackberries. Could be lovely. So we've got some some new flowers coming there, and then we've got flowers there, and also some blackberries forming.
What are you doing to me? Let's go, baby girl. Good girl. So yeah, we just thought we'd have a nice quiet amble. A little mill round for an hour or so. We're going to go back round this way because there's a person with a dog. And then we're going to go home for a cup of tea and the pot around. So it's only going to be a little short video this morning, lovelies. Um, so I hope you all have. Oh, I nearly forgot. Um, for those of, of the community that are stateside, a very, very blessed 4th of July to you all. There you go. So have a very blessed Monday morning. Look after yourselves and remember if you're struggling, please reach out. There'll always be somebody out there that can help you. Look after one another, it's very, very important. And if nothing else in this world, lovelies, please be kind because you don't know what that person's going through that stood next to you. And as always, I'm sending you all much love and many blessings.